Throughout the Second World War, there were a number of evil guards who worked inside of concentration camps. In Europe, there were many women who even became notorious for their executions, brutality and violence they inflicted upon prisoners on a daily basis. At camps such as Bergen-Belsen, guards such as Irma Grazer or Josef Kramer were known for their beastly antics and they were responsible for the deaths of thousands. But the same occurred in prison camps in the Pacific, but there were many fewer Japanese guards who were brought to trial at the end of the war, and many escaped and evaded capture. But one man who became infamous for his brutality and evil inside of a Japanese prison of war camp was Mutsuhito Watanabe, who became known as the bird for his horrific antics. Join us today as we look at the evil of the Japanese torturer, the bird, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Mutsuhito Watanabe was born on the 18th of January 1918, and through his work inside a prison of war camp, he became known for his mistreatment of prisoners of war. He was born into a very wealthy Japanese family, and along with his five siblings he got everything he ever wanted, and was very spoiled. The family even had servants that waited on them, and Watanabe then went to college, and he studied French literature, but he was a passionate Japanese man, and was very devoted to the emperor. He then signed up to join the army following his graduation. He believed that as he was from a privileged background, that he would have automatically been made an officer and enlisted in officer training. But the money his family had meant little for the Japanese army, and he was then given a rank of corporal. But for Watanabe, this was seen as humiliating, and he wanted to be an officer. Because of this shame, those around him said he lost his mind and became unpredictable and off the rails. He was devoted to becoming an officer, but then he was sent to go and work at the Amori prisoner of war camp, and whilst here he conducted many different war crimes. The conditions of Amori were described as inhumane, as it was a brutal sight and staff were known for their evil. But Watanabe then whilst he worked at Amori, became known across Japan for his brutality, and his reputation spread within different prisons of war. Amori became renowned as a punishment centre, and many unruly and nuisance prisoners of war were sent there from other camps, and they were brutalised by the regime and the guards, and were reduced to nothing. Louis Zamperini would be imprisoned there, and one man who was imprisoned with him recounted Watanabe's behaviour, and he became known as a bird for his brutality. It was said the bird took pride in his sadism, and would become so carried away with the attacks that saliva would bubble around his mouth. It was also said how during a number of brutal incidents at the site, Watanabe made Louis Zamperini pick up a piece of wood, which was more than six foot long, and he was forced to hold it above his head. Samperini, a former Olympian, then did this for a shocking 37 minutes. The bird also punched another inmate repeatedly in the face for slight infringements of the camp's rules, and he would patrol the camp with a four-foot kendo sword, which was like a baseball bat. One man, Tom Henling Wade, was struck 40 times in the school with this weapon, but his punishments were also psychological. Despite the fact he physically beat inmates on a daily basis, the bird would inflict emotional torture. He would destroy and burn the photographs that the prisoners of war had with them, and he then also burned the letters which were sent from home, and this broke many inmates, breaking their only links to home. Throughout some beatings, he would pause and then stop to apologise to the inmate, but then after he would continue the beating and knock them out. He was nothing short of a sadist, and he would also wake prisoners up in the middle of the night, and then take them to his quarters and give them sweets and sing with them. He was a strange man, as he would do this for one moment, but the next he would beat and brutalise, and would be sent into a huge rage. This left the prisoners of Amori to be incredibly nervous around Watanabe, and they didn't know how he would react at any time. He even ordered one man who reported to him to be punched in the face every night for three weeks, and he also practised judo on a patient who had had a recent operation. It was also said that Watanabe forced an officer to sit in a shack wearing little clothes for four days in winter, and that one 63-year-old prisoner was also tied to a tree for days. But following the end of the Second World War, and the surrender of the Japanese, Mutsuhito Watanabe went into hiding, as he was named number 23 out of 40 most wanted war criminals in Japan. He was hunted by the War Crimes Commission, but he never faced prosecution. He continued to hide out, and the Allies were not able to find the trace of the former prison guard, and the Allies thought he had died having been called up to serve in the army. But in 1952 the charges against him were dropped, 
and after this he came out of hiding and became an insurance salesman. He said, I do not want to be judged by America, and was interviewed in a number of newspapers after the war. But then before the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, a TV programme interviewed the brutal former prison guard, and he admitted that he had beaten and kicked prisoners, and he said, I treated the prisoners strictly as enemies of Japan. Louis Zamperini tried to meet with the bird, but Watanabe refused to see him, and refused to meet with him, and in April 2003, Watanabe died. Mutsuhito Watanabe was known as a bird, and he was a brutal and evil prison guard, who inflicted a great deal of suffering onto American prisoners of war who had been captured. He was a man who was angry, as he believed he should have been an officer, and he took this resentment into his work in the prison camp, and he treated the prisoners as enemies of the emperor and his nation. He was a man who managed to evade arrest after World War II, and he would then appear following the charges being dropped. There was a good chance after the war that if he was captured, that he would have been executed for his war crimes, as witnesses would have testified about his brutality. If not the gallows, he would have certainly faced a lengthy prison sentence, and his actions became notorious, and he is remembered as one of the most evil Japanese prison guards of World War II. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.